Hello everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can expand your tune shaders by using Blender's built-in compositor. For this demonstration, I will be using a simple tune shader. You can recreate this exact result by looking at this tutorial I made. You will find it in the description or at the end of this video. I have slightly modified the setup to use normal maps and an ambient occlusion node, as I felt like it gave the scene a pleasing effect in this particular scenario. The idea behind this particular scene was to highlight the edges of the models and blur the coloring, giving it a soft, loose feel. You can see that when the compositor is turned off, the modeling and shading are very rudimentary. The extra pass really helps in changing the style of the final render. Before jumping into the nodes, I want to show you that there are a lot of different styles you can create using this workflow. Here, I created a simple lantern model and use the compositor to emphasize the light emitted by the flame. The effect is fully customizable and can be exaggerated to various degrees. In this other example, I'm using the screen space curvature found in Workbench and overlaying that on top of my final render. Although not ideal, it's quite neat because we can almost make up for the lack of real-time curvature in Eevee without having to rely on cycles or external modifications like Goo Engine. Now let's jump into the nodes. To create the painterly effect on the food render, I split the image and connect it to two different filters, Sobel and Kuwahara. I take the Sobel output and run it through a color ramp to control the color intensity of the outlines. I wanted the areas affected by light to have more contrast than the dark areas, so I added the original colors and the color ramp together. The final step is to multiply it with the Kuwahara output. To create the lighting effects, I add together the Sunbeam filter and the Glare node to the original image. Then, I make the Lens Dirt effect by multiplying another Glare node to a texture I found online, which I will link in the description. The rest is a matter of adjusting the settings. In my final node graph, I have a Kuwahara filter and various passes of Lens Distortion to create a pleasing rainbow effect. For the curvature, we need to do something a little different. I created a new linked scene and set the render engine to workbench. This is where I activate the screen space curvature. Although this is not a true way of calculating curvature, it gets the job done well enough and can certainly be used in many scenarios if you want to save yourself the hassle of baking. In the compositor, I simply set the two render layers to the corresponding scenes and add them together, making sure to crush the dark values all the way to black. This technique can also be used for ambient occlusion and matte caps. I hope this gives you ideas for your next projects. I feel like the compositor is underutilized in NPR workflows, which is why I decided to do some research and make this video. I'll be expanding on these techniques and implementing them in my next big project. So if you're curious, be sure to subscribe and consider donating if you want to support the channel.